Yo guys, this is Abrex here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'll be talking about Xbox 360 emulation on Android. Currently, we have two Xbox 360 emulators which are assumed to be under development. So the first one is the Daemon Xbox 360 emulator, and the second one is Xenia emulator. So let's start off with Xenia. If you guys don't know what Xenia is, it's basically a Xbox 360 emulator for PC, which is capable of emulating Xbox 360 games at full speed. Which is not that surprising as Xbox 360 is very old console and hence the project Xenia started but I have a good news that soon within the next few years we might get Xenia Xbox 360 emulator for Android. Now this is very possible as the developers have already started working on this emulator porting it for Android devices but the development of this uh, port is not that active. Now even one of the major developers of Skyline is working on this port but the Xenia emulator is currently not under development actively from Android uh, specifically but they have brand new Linux and Windows builds uh, regularly so that's not the part to worry about. So if an Xbox 360 emulator comes for Android devices then you will need minimum in my opinion you will need a flagship processor to emulate Xbox 360 games on Android. Now games like GTA 5 etc are also compatible for Xbox 360 which means that those games will be also playable through the emulator but it will take lot of resource consuming tasks and also it will take lot of time for the emulator to get compatible with games like that. Now we also have an Xbox 360 emulator project which is Daemon Xbox 360 emulator. Now there is an PS2 emulator for Android known as Daemon PS2 emulator and the developers of who created that PS2 emulator are claiming that Xbox 360, PS3 and Nintendo Switch emulator from their company is going to be soon available by the next Chinese year and I really hope that this dream comes true as emulating Xbox 360 games on the go or emulating even PS3 games is a big deal for me and I would really be happy if I could just enjoy playing PS3 games on my flagship Android device on the go. So that's what will be possible if these emulators are released by the next year and there are many videos which I will upload in future once these emulators are released. So if you guys are new here then smash that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification because I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest news regarding emulation on Android. With that being said now let's continue again. Uh, so Xenia emulator is currently under development. Uh, it has been confirmed by the main developer of Xenia emulator and there is also their discord server where they have created a separate uh, category for Android development. Uh, they are mainly working on the Windows and Linux build right now but still it will happen Xenia is an open source Xbox 360 emulator so even if Daemon Xbox 360 emulator is released first then you will know that it they probably took some codes from the Xenia PC emulator as Daemon emulator is known for stealing codes and without giving any credits and then making their emulator paid for example with the Daemon PS2 Pro emulator they used codes of an Windows PS2 emulator which was the PC SX2 emulator they did not give any kind of credits and uh, they monetized their app with ads along with making a paid version uh, separately the Daemon PS2 emulator Pro so that same thing might happen if they release PS3 or Xbox 360 emulator before then Xenia as Xenia is 100% free you can easily emulate Xbox 360 games on your PC without, spend without spending any money but the same thing might not happen with the Daemon emulators the upcoming emulators like the Daemon emulator developer himself has confirmed that you that you will need to purchase the emulators separately so they will be around five to six dollars so you'll need to pay it and they will probably be using cores of like RPCS3 emulator uh, and Xenia emulator and also Yuzu Nintendo Switch emulator uh, in the three upcoming emulators so I really hope that they also release a free version on the side so other people can enjoy it as well and again don't forget to subscribe as i'll be covering uh, the daemon emulators as well on my channel so you will be kept up to date with all the latest emulation news for android but with that being said thanks for watching be sure to comment down below what you guys think about these upcoming emulators for android but that's it for today's video goodbye